I'm Ben Gertzel. I'm the vice chairman of Humanity Plus and the primary organizer of the Humanity Plus Hong Kong conference. I'm a mathematician originally. These days I'm mainly an AI researcher working in a host of different areas, including human level AI, AI applied to genomics and life extension, AI for financial prediction, natural language analysis, video game characters, robotics, and a whole bunch of other stuff. All right. So I've got a few questions. Um, so there's a couple of uh, talks you're going to be... Uh, there's two. One of them's called AI Against Aging, the Unraveling of Biological Networks of Aging via AI-Driven Genomic Analysis for Long-Lived Flies. Do you want to give a brief introduction about what that's uh, going to cover? Sure. One of the lines of research I've been involved in for the last few years is the application of AI technology to understand how to get rid of aging, how to eliminate the plague of involuntary death. This is not entirely an AI problem, it's a biology problem. It involves experimental biology, drug discovery, stem cell treatments, a host of different things. But one important aspect of the problem of eliminating aging is just making sense of the massive amounts of data that we can now gather about humans and other biological systems using modern experimental biology tools. There's just way more data coming out of biology labs now than the human mind can understand. Artificial intelligence software can see patterns in this data that the human mind can't see, which can then help us understand what's going on inside the body as it gets older and help us to design novel therapies to help us live a much longer time. I've been applying AI to analyze longevity related genomics data for a while in a variety of different contexts. Most recently though I've been working with a company called Genetion via my bioinformatics consulting firm Biomind. Genetion has evolved through experimental evolution, evolved populations of fruit flies that live five times as long as normal fruit flies. That might seem unpleasant, who wants long-lived fruit flies, but the point is we can study the genomics of these long-lived fruit flies to see why it is they live so long. Using our AI tools, we can understand what it is in the long-lived fly genome that differs from the ordinary fly genome. And based on these discoveries of genetic differences, we can then craft pharmaceutical, nutraceutical, gene therapy methods to extend life in flies, people, and other organisms. I guess it's pretty obvious why uh, some of these treatments would be um, uh, beneficial to people or why they'd want to get them. But um, would you like to say a few words about some of the, the obvious reasons why people would be interested in hearing your talk? Well, I think that death is one of the most universal and least pleasant aspects of human existence. And as a 44-year-old guy, I can already tell you from experience that aging is not that much fun. It'd be better if we remained young our whole lives. It would be better if we remained completely healthy our whole lives. Of course, a true immortality pill is not available yet. I won't be selling any at the conference nor giving any away. But there are some lessons we can learn from long-lived flies and other long-lived organisms. Lessons derived by applying AI to analyze data from these organisms, which can be helpful to us 
in figuring out how to live longer. Okay. I mean, I'm not a doctor. I can't prescribe medicine for anyone. But we have found data pointing to certain existing medicines and certain supplements that are related to the genomics of the long-lived flies, which is certainly interesting stuff to know about. Um, are you aware of uh, AI being used in um, the medical field now in uh, finding the right drug and uh, the, you know, the, the best ways to have it delivered? AI in biomedicine has been around a while. There's even an academic journal called the Journal of AI in Medicine. There's a host of different techniques that have been applied largely by computer science academics to biology data. But these methods are not very well integrated into the biology community or into the drug discovery pipeline of major pharmaceutical companies. So even though AI methods are fairly mature in this application area, they're just not used very much. One of the things that we've done in my collaboration with Biomine and Genetion is to get AI people and biology people working together and sharing ideas and intuitions which I think is, is really important for moving AI methods forward in the biomedical domain. We do have some uniquely powerful AI tools beyond the state of the art from the academic literature, which we are using to good effect in analyzing the fly data and other data. But just as important as having super duper AI tools is having the right process where AI and biology expertise are being used together. Okay. All right. Well, I'll look forward to your talk in Hong Kong on this subject. Um, and I'll just record the next one now, the next interview on your... You've got two talks, so I'll record the next yeah. one.